Hello everybody, Ruth Werner here, and I'm happy to be conducting a few short interviews with some of the wonderful presenters who will be joining us at the Alliance for Massage Therapy Education um, Educational Con Congress happening this summer in July in Tucson, Arizona. The, co the Congress will begin with a pre-convention workshop on the 26th, general sessions on the 27th through the 29th, and a post-convention um, workshop on the 30th. And one of the presenters who we are really happy to highlight um, is a wonderful educator named Julie Goodwin. Julie Goodwin is a graduate of uh, Kent State University and the Deseret Institute of the Healing Arts. She's been a massage practitioner for 30 years and a body educator for more than 25 years. She's a national speaker, uh, an NCBT and approved provider, the author of Touch and Movement, Palpation and Kinesiology for Massage Therapists, and the creator of Treatment Planner, Mobile Pathology for Body Workers. And you know that makes my ears pick right up. She was named the AFMTE Bon Vital 2016 Educator of the Year. Congratulations, Julie. And recently retired as adjunct instructor in the therapeutic massage program at Pima Community College in Tucson. So, Julie, that's the bare bones of your biography. Is there anything else you'd like for our listeners to know about what has brought you to this place today? Well, um, one thing is that um, I tried to retire from teaching, and it didn't take, and I'm back at Commute Pima Community College. <laughs> retire from teaching and, and evidently retiring is something I don't know how to do. Um, <laughs> but I'm teaching pathology and, and absolutely love it and I am so in, inspired and motivated for my students and learn so much from them. Um, and that's what really keeps me going. Well, you and I belong to that wonderful club of enthusiastic pathology teachers for sure. Yes, yes, absolutely. So, Julie, tell us what is the topic that you'll be presenting at the Alliance meeting in July? Getting proactive classroom management. Um, it, it's a, a way of creating a learning environment that is um, structured, but at the same time nurturing, um, that is inclusive, that accommodates different learning styles and, and, and different um, ages and experiences that, that we have in the body work classroom. Um, during my experience um, as a body work educator for, for all these years, it has always fascinated me that in uh, a single classroom, we'll have people who are 18 and people who are nearly 70, uh, people coming from a medical background and, and people with a GED. And they all come together in one room to learn the same topic. And that is our challenge as instructors, uh, but it, it's such a joy when you see it come together and work. So this is what I want to talk about that afternoon. Well, that's wonderful. I can share also as a, as a um, continuing education provider, we have, you know, similar ranges in experience and expertise when we walk into the classroom and somehow, you know, we need to provide something that will be useful for everybody and what, a, what an amazing challenge that is and how exciting it is when it works out. It is. Uh, in, in my current class, I have um, students from Indonesia and China and Nigeria along with very young uh, people from Tucson. So uh, it's a really, really interesting class because we have such breadth of, of life experiences and uh, backgrounds all, all brought to bear on their experience as massage therapists. So it's been just terrific. So Julie, can you give us just a sample of something that you'll be talking about when you talk about proactive classroom management? things that, that um, I've learned is that is really important is to um, and, and be proactive, to anticipate what might become a problem in a, in a class of, of, you know, maybe eight to ten students. Um, by the time of a, a, a problem student who's maybe an oversharer or, <laughs> um, you know, a, a, a aggressive or domineering or, you know, anything like that, by the time there's some eye rolling among other students, I have failed as an instructor right. uh, because it's too late then. 
So what I mean by proactive is, is really getting a handle on each student and, you know, how they're integrating into the class and what we can do to forestall any of that eye-rolling and problems that can arise. Wonderful, and it's something that, that every teacher can relate to, I'm sure. Julie, thank you so much for taking some time to be with us today. We will really look forward to hearing you speak uh, in Tucson in July. And once again, congratulations on your Educator of the Year Award. Well deserved. Thank you so much. I take it as encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, and good luck with that whole retirement thing. I have to be up someday. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a great day. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.